All right. We're back in Alamance Creek again. Today I thought I would start off with some uh, live worms. Just to change it up a little bit see what I can get. Now I don't have any night crawlers. I just got little old red wigglers that I dug up out of the yard. But hey, we'll give it a shot for a while. I do have my good old trusty chicken livers in the cooler. So uh, should I decide that I need to change it up, I can do that. Make him go for it. Make him commit more to it. That's a little one, y'all. I got a little number 10 hook on there. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, it is teeny tiny. Yep. Little teeny tiny little bluegill. And unfortunately, you see that blood coming out of his gill? That means he swallowed the hook and damaged his gill. This one may have to be used for bait later. Up on the top. Oh, there goes a bite. What is that? Huh. Well, that ain't huge but I believe it's got a little bit more to it than that last one I thought yeah it's got a little more to it now mud cat TV this is a better example to you a little bigger fish so you just come in here once he stops flopping a little bit you just come up above his nose and come down. I don't know if you saw that or not. You come up above his nose and slide down, and that pushes him down. And you should be able to hold on to it then. Yeah. He ain't great, but it ain't no teeny one. He was fun. Thank you, Mr. Bluegill. Anyway, like I was saying, whatever it was, it didn't get the hook in its mouth good. Uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Ah, little bluegill. No, that's a uh, that's a sun uh, red-breasted sunfish. All right, we moved a little bit came upstream and I found this spot right here so this is similar it's right uh it's right after a kind of a bend so we'll see what happens Okay, that feels kindly like a one of them little bullheads. Whoa, hello. I'm not sure what you were. Yeah, it's a bullhead. Well, a bobber does work for bullheads. I have a suspicion. 
that's the same one that was hitting it before. Don't you? I mean, not terrible. Not huge either. Thanks, sir. Whoa! Oh, he turned loose. Alright, I'm going to attempt to show you how I rig for fishing on the bottom for these catfish around here. I'll just take and tie a, uh, I got a one ounce weight, the water's not moving fast, that's enough to hold it where I want it to be. Um, just a one ounce weight with a polymer knot at the end of the line. You can look up uh, Palomar knot on YouTube and there's all kinds of tutorials on how to do it. Alright, so you got your one ounce weight at the end. And I just don't want extra line hanging up to get snagged or tangled on anything, so I'll clip that off. And then I'll come up about 10 inches or 12 inches, I don't know, that may be, that's about 12 inches I guess up off the bottom. And I'll make another Palomar knot, tie this hook on, Palomar knot. Again, very simple knot, you can look it up on YouTube if you can't tell what I'm doing here. Plenty of tutorials on how to do a Pal Palomar knot. Alright, so now that leaves my hook up a little bit off the bottom, but with the current and everything and the way I fish, it's probably not going to be that far off the bottom. But I have found that I get better hookups if I don't have this hook flush up against the line like that. I know that probably doesn't make sense until I explain to you what I mean. I'll come back here a few uh, and I'll make a uh, triple, I think they call this a granny knot, a triple loop granny knot. And then you just pull it back ever how far you would like to have sticking out. Like I think I like about two to three inches, about like that. So see, that's going to stick out from the line a little bit. And I don't know why, I just feel like I get hookups better that way. I don't miss them quite as often. But anyway, that's how I do it. I just freeze water in Gatorade bottles and bring it with me and as it melts I have cold water to drink. When I hook my chicken leg for bag on I just come through the top. I'll spin it and then come through that top piece on that side to hold it closed and then come back around and come through that piece on the top to hold it closed and then I'll come back through the bag and then that should hold it good and closed it's not going to come open they're not going to get the you know whole piece of chicken liver off of it and run off with it and right. now this will hold right where you want it to hold Boom. That's where I wanted it. And it'll hold there. 